Uh, speaking to me is Mr. Bad News, Alex Hughes. Um, Alex, last time I spoke to you a few months ago, you were getting ready for your first fight in almost two years, I think it was. Um, tell us about your comeback. How can I? <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was lovely to be back. Um, two years out nearly. Um, come back with two, with two nice displays. Get off a little ring rest and um, we kick start 2019, March 1st. And we push on. We got, um, yeah, I got a big year coming up. I have. Um, with your comeback, like you said, you had, you had a long breakout. You had a, quite a serious injury as well, which you know we had eyesight plus my worry people. Um, was there did anything about the comeback surprise you? Whether negative, negatively or positively, anything shock you in the ring or surprise no, you? Not really, to be honest. Um, you know, I, ring rest. I think like a lot of it can be you know a mental kind of thing more than anything. Do you mean and. Um, I felt great in the gym beforehand, so I didn't take nothing in thinking, oh, how's the layoff going to affect me now? And um, I went in there with a good head on, and um, yeah, and I done well. It was nice to be back and um, come back in that kind of fashion, to be fair, yeah. So, are you up to the level you were before, before your layoff, or have you still got a couple of fights to go before you got to that level? No, um, I don't know hang about. Do you mean I, um, I can't quite announce it yet, but i got to get through March 1st, and then. Um, there's, um, it's, it's practically been made in fairness, but I got a, I got a big fight lined up. Ben, going to be seven on the line, and it's going to be an eliminator, I think. So I got a big fight coming up here, and um, I can't wait to announce that one either. So uh, we're leaving the fans hanging out there. Now. They'll be watching this interview. All, yeah. They'll be all emailing me or texting me, asking me who that is fighting. <laughs> but could, could it give us a, a rough date so fans know when to just put, put in the diary? Somebody it is. So I get, I got, um, I got March first. Might get maybe something small in between. If, if someone comes up, I'll jump in and get me wrong. But uh, it's going to be in the summertime, maybe June time, something like that. So, um, I mean, the match has probably been made. So, it's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to it now, sir. So, um, before you had your break from boxing because of your injury, um, what's, what's the polite way of putting it? Do you were maybe a bit lax in your training? Has this comeback made you more in love with boxing, if that's the right way of putting it? 100%. Um, you know, beforehand, I, I wouldn't say, no, when I was in the gym, I'd work my socks off, I would. But it'd be the case of what I do when I leave a gym, do you mean? I'd, I'd stop in Tesco on the way home, grab a box of Krispy Kreme donuts and things like that, do you mean? And um, I think when... <laughs> but I think having the layoff and not knowing whether I would ever box again, it's, um, it's given me a complete, completely different mentality about boxing, do you mean? It's made me... I fall back in love with it because I always loved it, but just appreciate it more and more than anything. Do you mean? Because like I said, I, used to, I was working shifts and I used to be on a night shift and I'd be thinking, oh, do you mean? Should be in a ring room. And I'd, I'd, I'd pop down every now and again, all the boys be training for fights and I, And it was hard. It, you know, it was hard. It, 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 was, it was really hard. And it made me realise just what this sport does mean to me. Do you mean? And um, you mentioned your gym mates there, and you've got Chris Jenkins training in the background, and you've, you've had a bit of a laugh and a bit of banter with them. I mean, how, how much is that important to you when you're training to, to help you through the tough training, I suppose? Oh, it's massive. Do you mean, I couldn't, I couldn't put myself in a better gym. Do you mean, I got, um, I got Gary, he's my trainer. Do you mean, I, I put all my trust in Gary. I've known Gary since I was 16. And um, do you mean, I put all my trust in him. We've got a great bunch of boys here. We've got Reese there, we've got Chris, fantastic fighters, you know. Reese, do you mean, I. He's not going to be rushed. I think he's he's only 18, but he's a he's a manly 18. You mean you you see him working there, and you mean I've been in the gym with Gary for years, and sometimes I watch things he does, and I'm and I'm in awe of what he does. You mean you got Chris, phenomenal fighter, just needs a little bit of luck. You mean with boxing, obviously it's hard work and all this stuff, but you do need a little bit of luck in boxing. And Chris got it all, and he needs a little breakthrough now, which I think he'll have, and um, he'll be there as well. So it's great to see the gym up and flying as well. Um, you mentioned there Gary and, and the boys in the gym. Of course, you've got a, a good support team behind you as well, with the, obviously your partner and and Brett and and, yeah. and your, your your ever tortured father. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean the um, yeah, especially my dad, my poor dad. I give him nightmares, and I. But um, I'm I put this on camera. When I, when I lived with him, I was scared him all the time. I've just moved out recently. See, and, um, did we? Did you move out or were you kicked out? This is like when I was living in. I was scared him. I right? couldn't wait for me to move. <laughs> I moved out, he was down my new house, he had to leave, he was crying, upset, because I was leaving and I was, I. He was, Mike, that's for you, but that's for you. Yeah, but, uh, he was upset crying, he was, I. <laughs> but how important is it, and how lucky are you to have that you know, support team, because a lot of very good boxers fall by the wayside, because they haven't got 
that, that core support around them? It's, it's massive and I don't think the people who support me quite understand just how much it means to me and how important it is to me. I don't think they quite understand because, as you know yourself, Keith, if a lot of time, if you haven't got a good back end, you haven't, you haven't got much of a platform to start off with a boxing. So a massive reason, a lot, you know, obviously, I'm doing okay at the minute, I haven't, you know I mean, but a lot of reason why, you know, my success is a lot because of the people who are behind me and, and pushing me on and, and want me to do well. Do you mean that that's a massive fact of it? So I can't thank, you know, everyone who you just named and more. Do you know, everyone who comes and buys tickets off me, they, they don't understand just how much it does mean to me and it, it means the world to me, it really does. And uh, how much do you think you can improve as a professional boxer? Um, I feel like I'm improving all the time. I really do. And um, people haven't seen a lot of me yet. I mean, they haven't. And um, like I said, now is my time to back it up. Like I've always said, right, you need to put these people in front of me for me to show it. And I've got the opponent now. I'm going to have I'm going to get March 1st of the way. And I've got a big fight coming up. So everything I've said over these last few years, now is my turn to back it up. And I 100% believe I will. And I think people are going to stand up and take a lot of notice of me this year, I really do. And uh, one last thing, um, if people want to follow your career, um, how, how can they follow you on social media? What, what are you on? I'm on Twitter at AlexNews38, Instagram AlexNews, Alex, Alex News. <laughs> yeah, bad news, I got it in my head, don't I? AlexNews999 and um, I'm all over Facebook and, um, and all things like that. So yeah, get following guys. Cheers Alex and uh, good luck for the future.